One persistent problem when dealing with video is codecs. In its simplest terms, they are the instructions that your computer uses to make sense of the video files. Without them, your computer may not be able to play back your video, and you'll just hear the audio. Kind of a tease. So where does RealPlayer come into this? While the programs we use to play videos or songs come with codecs built in, allowing them to understand all these files. Without codecs, programs like iTunes, Windows Media Player, and RealPlayer would not be able to play your wide collection of files. RealPlayer is an option in the Media Player arena, and a good one at that. Did we mention it's free? Yeah, we know how you like to shop. In order to download RealPlayer, go to www.letstabble.com slash RealPlayer, or click the link we've so generously provided beside this video to download the file. Save the file to your desktop so we know it is downloaded properly, and we'll just delete it later when we're finished. Double-click the newly downloaded RealPlayer file. The installer will open. Windows will ask if it has your permission to install the program because it was downloaded from the internet. So click Yes, and the installer will open. Here we will find a link to the terms and conditions, which is on the internet, and is quite a few pages long. If you agree to them, select Accept after which it typically offers to install a free program as a promotion, but for our purposes, this is unnecessary. So you can just skip it, and we are just going to install RealPlayer. And again, since we will not need all the bells and whistles of RealPlayer Plus, we'll just select No Thanks. Now that it is finished, RealPlayer automatically opens letting us know it installed correctly. By installing RealPlayer, we've added a number of video codecs to our PC which will help it to understand the video files we import onto the computer. This way, we can avoid those pesky video files that only play the audio. In the next video, we will install one last item, any video converter, which will allow us to change our files to make sure they play nicely with Windows Movie Maker.